Hello, Tubbs back again. Gonna do a quick compression test. So now, I've already done all four cylinders because it takes forever to go through them. So I'm just, I've already hooked up to the first cylinder. I'm just gonna do it and then post pictures of the other three. It'll make it a little easier on me. Um, but as you can see, I'll turn this around now. <clears throat> so right now, as you can see, hooked up just a standard compression tester. And uh, it's on zero. This is a little different, so my increments are of five. So I've got the larger increments and in betweens are five uh, PSI. So I'll just, uh, it's already set up to turn over. So just bump it. About three times for, this is what it requires. So the reading's about 125 every time, which is from what I understand is perfect for this motor. So, um, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to do all three, uh, all four cylinders. I'm just going to do the top one and, uh, post pictures. I'll post pictures of the fourth one, fourth one down. So one, two, three, four, and you'll see that it shows where they're landed, uh, in each picture. But, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, anything else I need to show you while I'm here? No. Oh, I'm going to be installing an hour meter here in a little bit. I'll take pictures of that too. Uh, never, this, this boat never came with an hour meter. Really and truly, the way it's been used, it didn't need one. They don't, they didn't go heavy on this motor. It's been sitting more than it's been running. So, but uh, every time I take it out, it's wonderful, man. I haven't had any issues with this boat except for stupid trailer issues. I've redone the trailer. Uh, a lot of stuff to the trailer. <laughs> I spent more money on the trailer than I have the boat, honestly. But, uh, you know, she runs really good. So whoever gets her is a lucky person. But, all right, well, I'll see y'all next time.